Hello, Canvas family. Tinsley Stearns here, and today I have the treat of bringing to you Chris Michelbus. Chris, Hi, welcome. Tinsley. We're Thank so you so much. Here. I'm yeah. so excited to be here. Awesome. Very cool. So I know you're going to oversee a lot of things with us, but we thought today we'd focus on enterprise risk management. Awesome. ERM. I love it. Yeah, good. Yeah. So for people that may not be as exposed to that topic, could you just give us a high level, what are we talking about? What is enterprise risk management? Absolutely. Enterprise risk management is, uh, it's kind of looking at risk holistically across the entire organization. Mm -hmm. So what I think of is, I, I, I use this idea of, of a bottle even, yeah. where we know exactly where our risk is internally. Sure. We have an internal audit function. Yeah. We talk about risk all the time and yeah. where that is. But enterprise risk management, you almost have to look through the organization to see where else is our risk. And yeah. we have vendors, sure. we have members, yeah. you know, it's all these other areas where risk could, uh, could come up in mm -hmm. unforeseen places. Sure. And so uh, enterprise risk management is something that, you know, it, it's kind of a big picture type of yeah. uh, understanding of where risk is. Sure. You don't want to get so into the weeds yeah. uh, because we already have so many great people in every area of mm -hmm. what Canvas does looking at risk, mitigating those. Yeah. So we don't want to be duplicative in yeah. our activities. Sure. We want to really focus on where is that enterprise risk sure. and manage that. Yeah. And so when you think about, you know, the next year, or the next five years, the next 10 years is tougher, but where do you see the areas where that risk might be highest, potentially? Uh, well, you know, I have my ideas. I've been sure. here a whole, yes. <laughs> in two days, it'll be two months. Woo yeah, very excited about that as well. But uh, right now, I feel like we're at a wonderful place yeah. uh, in that we're, I, I feel like we're kind of starting with a template for success, sure. but nothing has been written yet. Mm -hmm. And that's exciting to me because we can, we can start uh, identifying where the priorities are going to be. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, enterprise risk management, when you start setting up the, the true templates, mm -hmm. you you kind of are getting into people's worlds sure. that are very, very busy. Sure. You're asking a lot of questions because mm -hmm. I really only like to do things once. So yeah. we want to try and, sure. and get it right the first time yeah. so that we can you know, just look at the process and uh, continually improve it. Yeah. But uh, the areas that I've kind of uh, thought of and talked to Todd sure. and other folks uh, about yeah. is perhaps maybe the lending portfolio mm -hmm. because uh, the data is so fresh and dynamic, sure. and Chad Shane has been listening to me, so sure. I hope we can forge uh, a way forward there. Yeah. And, and then uh, working with Carlos mm -hmm. and the vendor due diligence, mm -hmm. you know, if you think uh, uh, again about that bottle or yeah. a balloon, yeah. you know, if, if you have risk that, you know, in a balloon, the pressure could be forced out the top, sure. and we've got a good cork in there. Yeah. In, a, in essence, we understand Canvas's risk. Yeah. But if we have holes in the balloon other places through yeah. our vendors and other people that own our data mm -hmm. and and we rely on them for our relationships, yeah. you know, we want to make sure that we all those holes are plugged as well. Yeah, cool. So talk to us a little bit about the marriage of internal audit and enterprise risk management and how that comes together. That is a great question. I think they are so complementary. Mm -hmm. Number one is because our internal audit function, yeah. we're already in every little area of the organization's mm -hmm. business. Sure. And we are looking at where those risks are and we're looking to mitigate them. Yeah. So if we align that with an enterprise risk management program yeah. that's robust, sure. we can actually put a little bit of that enterprise risk management weave that into our internal audit mm -hmm. and we can be looking at the enterprise risk management functions and making sure that they're robust enough to give us the data that that we need to to enhance uh, the process over time awesome. so and, and in essence you do, through the internal audit process that's where we dig and we can identify where where our data is mm -hmm. and 
in essence, I have made promises and I will continue to make promises right here on this camera. Yeah. We are trying to make people's lives easier, sure. not harder. Right. And so I am so excited to work with you and the rest of the team at identifying where that data is. David Pierce, I am so blessed right. to work with that guy. Mm -hmm. He understands data and where we're headed in that direction. Yeah. And I think we have the framework for incredible success, awesome. best in class. Um, we can be a help, I think, and this is, you know, five years down the road. Sure. This is a journey. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, we will not be there tomorrow. Right. I'm still trying to learn, of course, and I have a lot to learn. But I feel like when we get this right, yeah. we can help other credit unions as well. Sure. Awesome. Very cool. Well, you know, one of the questions we love to ask people is what makes you delightfully offbeat? And as people get to know you, share with us what that might be. It is so easy for me because, uh, you know, I, I, I have a love of finance and technology yeah. and what, you know, what I'm doing here. On the whole entire different side of the spectrum, yeah. I'm a collector. Oh. I collect coins, I collect nice. comic books, uh, I collect um, all sorts Very of cool. things, toys. Nice. And so I like to go to toy shows and buy and oh. sell things. Nice. I actually wrote a book, uh, oh, which wow. is out of print now, yeah. but I, I wrote a book about uh, Disney Pixar cars. Oh, that's so, so cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and I've, I've actually made coins. You know, oh, I just nice. love coins and the history behind them so yeah. much. I decided to, to make my own. Nice. So I, I have all of these little entrepreneurial things that, yeah. you know, I can, it helps me to focus on, on yeah. the business of the day because sure. I can kind of let my hair down and, nice. and just play, be, a, cool. be a child. Nice. That's awesome. Well, speaking of children, would you be up for a little challenge with us? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right. Okay, so we promised that we would be off the ping pong challenge and we have lived up to that commitment. And so now we're on to the cookie challenge. So Chris has got a minute to get this Oreo from his forehead to his mouth without using his hands. I, I love it. All right, um, fantastic. Starting to get a comp complex about this summit room though. <laughs> yeah, Pies yeah, right? in the face and <laughs> I know, Oreos without There's a, without there's a lot going on up here, right? Although good choice with cookies. Yeah, I love right. Oreos. Very cool, all right, so you've got a minute. On your mark, get set. All right, Oreo. Okay, let's see how he does. Let's see his technique. Oh, he's got some. Oh, oh my goodness. Whoops. He had a plan there. Oh. The oh, flipping the was camera. good. All right. Okay, All right. here he comes. Back no at cheating, it. No Back cheating. at it. All right, let's see. How does he do? Oh, 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 so close. It was in the mouth. All right, we're going to go All to right. the other cookie. Oh, there goes. Here we go. Oh, I think cookie. this cookie is going to be the one. All right. Oh, oh. That, oh, that one flipped. That one, that that one kind of destroyed. All right, let's see. Five second rule. Five second rule, yes. You're good. You're good. Oh, and it looks like we have some backup Oreos if we need them. All right. Oh, oh, oh that no. was in the mouth. Okay, here's a fresh Oreo for oh, you. Okay. Very good. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, right. yeah, you could try the wiggling technique. I think that may work. Good. Oh, it's, I, oh, oh, so close. So close, so close. Okay. How many seconds? How many seconds oh, left, Sam? Oh, oh, okay, almost, almost. All right, he's got it to his nose. Oh, oh doggone right. big. One more try. Nose. One more try. Three. Oh, oh one. I thought that was it. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work, my friend. Thank Excellent you. work. Thank I you. love it. <laughs> Good. All right, well, thank you so much, Chris. You're such a good sport, and we're so my thrilled pleasure. you're here. And thank you for joining us, and we'll be back again next week as we continue to enjoy being Canvas.